What's up everyone? Today I'm going to rank every 2023 Daytona 500 paint scheme. Your opinions may be different and that's alright, but here are mine. Starting with Ross Chastain in the number one car, I gave this paint scheme an A. I really like it. I like the design and the colors. Austin Sindrick got a B. Pretty generic paint scheme, but it's not bad. Just nothing too special for me. Austin Dillon got a B minus. I kind of like it. I really am not a fan of the back of this car, though. Kevin Harvick got a B. Um, not a bad paint scheme. The number four has had better paint schemes, though, but it's a B. Kyle Larson and the paint scheme he usually has. Uh, B, good paint scheme, nothing too special. It's a good meaning behind it. Brad Keselowski, B+. I really like this paint scheme. I like the pink and the white together. Corey LaJoy, I gave a C. Do not like this paint scheme too much. It's kind of boring to me. Kyle Busch, B+. I like this paint scheme. I like the colors together. And I just think it all flows together well. Chase Elliott, B-. Not a bad paint scheme, not his best, um, not a huge fan of it, but not bad. Eric Alamarola, I gave a B, generic paint scheme for him, but it's a good one, so that's okay. Denny Hamlin, B minus, it was cool to see FedEx try something different, but not my biggest um, paint scheme of the year. Ryan Blaney, I gave a B plus. I really like the colors on this paint scheme. It really makes it pop out. Chase Briscoe, B plus. Uh, I do like this paint scheme. It's uh, nice to see the red and black together. Good paint scheme. Riley Herbs, A plus. I really like this paint scheme. The only thing I would change is the monster logo on the back quarter panel is weird. Uh, AJ Allmendinger, Dinger. B+, plus, uh, good colors, good paint scheme. Chris Busher, B, I know a lot of people really like this paint scheme. I, I don't mind it. I wouldn't call it A tier, though. Martin Truex Jr., C, uh, I just really don't like this paint scheme. Seems a little blotchy in my point of view. Christopher Vell, I also gave a C. Not a huge fan of this paint scheme. It just does not stick out for me. Harrison Burton, B+, pretty generic Wood Brothers scheme, but it is a goodie, so B+. Joey Logano, C, just very yellow and plain and not that great in my opinion. Bubba Wallace, C-, 2311 usually has good paint schemes, but not in the 2023 Daytona 500. William Byron, B-, um... It's better than most Raptor paint schemes or last year's, but not great. Justin Haley, I gave a B. I do like the blue and white on this car. Um, overall, not bad. Michael McDowell, I gave a B plus. I've always loved the Loves paint scheme, so this is no different. Sane Smith, I gave an A. I really like the teal color on this car, and I think everything flows pretty well on this car. Todd Gill Gilligan, I gave a B. Nothing wrong with this paint scheme, but nothing too special either. Ryan Priest, I gave an A. I really like this paint scheme. It kind of reminds me of the old Kurt Busch Haas days. Uh, Noah Gregson, I gave a C-. I, sorry, I just really don't like this Wendy's paint scheme. Eric Jones in the Guns N' Roses paint scheme, I gave a B plus. A lot of people like this, including me, so yeah. Tyler Reddick, I gave a B, pretty generic monster energy scheme, but overall, not bad. Daytona 500 winner, Ricky Stenhouse, I gave a B plus. I really like this uh, paint scheme. I like the colors and the design. Alex Bowman, I gave a B. Overall, not bad, but nothing too special in my opinion. Connor Daly, I gave a C. I'm not a huge fan of this car or the colors on it, but some people liked it. 
the number 51 car i gave a b overall the paint scheme actually isn't bad but uh the driver certainly gets an f ty gibbs i gave this a c it's not the best scheme it seems a little odd to me uh, Travis Pastrana got an F. This paint scheme is horrible in my opinion. I'm sorry if you like it, but I don't. Ty Dillon, B-. minus. Nothing too bad about this paint scheme, but also nothing too good about it in my opinion. BJ McLeod, I gave a F. I just don't like this paint scheme or the design, but yeah. Jimmy Johnson, I gave a B, overall, good paint scheme, nothing too special, nothing too bad. My personal favorite from the 2023 Daytona 500 is the Daniel Suarez A-plus Trackhouse Racing.